do you um you want to get your tractor, sweetie? Yeah. Yeah, he's probably gonna want to be out of here. Doesn't want to let that weight get going too fast for him. Roll it right off the truck. That'll get it off the truck. <laughs> What's that all about? Rats.
so we can get to the instruction manual. Oh. Because the instruction manual is in here. Planning on sawing some logs today? No. We're going to build it tomorrow. Oh. We might grab a log to saw tomorrow. Okay. <laughs> Oops. He said he did. Oh, he did? Can I see a knife? I want to cut it off. So what do you think, Dad? I want to see it. Um, it was easy to unload. <laughs> Let's see it. I want to see it. I can see it. Here's the bet. a beautiful pallet. That would be one that you could make an American flag out of if it's the right size. Oh, cool. Here's the here's the knob that paint helps, it and sell it. helps um guide the bed sections together. Oh yeah? Because there's a hole in the next one they come together. So you know already all about this stuff, eh? Because you've been spending time at the <laughs> University <laughs> of YouTube. You want my utility knife? And this is in there. No. Yeah, the things are inside the cover on this. Like inside the cover Is yours in your tractor? Yes, it is. Do you want me to get it? It is in the other one. What are you looking for? What do you see in there, Wilson? A sawmill. Oh. See that look? Isn't it beautiful? It says also 15. Okay, it's here. It's in this one. Yes. Here's your binder. Now, how did you learn that it's in there? There's, there's your binder. It knows everything. My hat. <gasps> A Woodmiser hat? There's only one, Wilson. Yeah, there is. Uh, you want to latch that door again so yeah. we don't get damaged? So how did you know it was in there? I watched a lot of videos. Now I know everything about adjusting this. Here's where the blade goes. I think we should take the whole cover off. I need to go finish eating my macaroni and cheese. And then can we take the whole cover off? We'll see. I want to see the whole thing. Instead of just looking in. <laughs> You'll see, it sounds like you need to feed cows. Would you put this back in the... No, we'll leave it here. And I know how to lift up the head, too. Of course, you have to undo some bolts and things. So okay. lift up the head so you can take the head off and then get to the bed sections. Okay. And then here is your adjustable side support. It's in its shipping position, so it's not going to come up. Oh. Here's one of your adjustable side supports. Mommy, come up here. <laughs> Mommy, come up here. I'm you can gonna... actually see it. Yeah. So did they do a good job of painting it? Does the paint look nice? Does it smell good? Dad, you see. I can see and it looks nice. In every school paper. Yeah. All right, well, you tell Mom all about it. I'm I don't know go, if I have that much time left. I'm going to go throw this plastic in the garbage and go So here's one of your adjustable side support, supports. If my if my dad will take it off later, then we can show you the whole thing. But here's one of the adjustable side supports. There, there are the other three. There. Oh, this looks like And then, so you'll put, have rollers that go in there to help when you're turning the log, not to just rub up against it to roll the log. Alright, so today we are going to be 
putting together the Woodmiser LT15 band sawmill that my dad bought. We're gonna try to put together anyway. Olson's been watching videos after videos after videos about this sawmill. So I think he pretty much. So apparently Wilson's the only one who knows what he's doing. So hopefully this doesn't turn out to be a complete disaster. Head to the pallet. Someplace safe. I think I gotta pull ahead then. And I do know what I'm doing. He's not going to wreck it, Wilson. So, just gotta take that off and set it over there somewhere. And then these three runners along the bottom are gonna have to go in three in a big long row. And then the engine head thing will go on the end of one of them. Wilson, I'm pretty sure he knows what he's doing. Okay, we've got the bottom mostly done. We got all the little feet put in. And now we're putting in bolts to bolt the three pieces together. And then we have to adjust the feet so it so it's level. As you can see, it's not on the levelest of ground right now. And then, the head, the engine part, has to be put on. So this, the face you're seeing right now, the Woodmines in the Elf T15, you'll have to be able to see that right here, but it's gonna be at the way back. So either he's gonna have to take it off and put it back, or he's gonna have to bring it in from the back over that little hill, which I'm not sure how it's gonna be done. I hope you left my GoPro alone. What does this do? Bangs these together. Mm. I gotta loosen this one up here. Smart. So I go in here. Like that? And does anything go in here? Yeah, I think so. I use it right here. Oh, okay. 
You don't have to take them off to loose them. I know. Hey, that should be loose enough. So he's loosening, he's loosening these nuts up so we can slide this back and forth so we can align it right so that the binder can go in right there. So that the binder can go in right there. In the appropriate spot of course, not where I had my hand. Okay, so right now, we're working on leveling the feet. We checked the level and it's fairly level from side to side, but we need to definitely make it more level by bringing this end up. So it's level this way. This end may need to come down, I'm not sure. From this side to this side. It's not looking too level. Of course then again, that's not counting that. We're gonna have to bring this side up. Mm hmm. We'll bring that side down. We're gonna have to bring this side up. Oh, no wonder I'm having a couple lots on the magnetic end. Whatever. Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna have to bring this side up a little bit. Yeah. under the feet to keep it level so we don't have to put the feet down that far because it won't go that far. So now it's level, we're just putting the rest of these feet down to the ground and tightening them up so it's just about level. And then we have to put the head on, put the gas tank on the head I believe somewhere. Yeah, we'll see if the gas tank goes on the head. <coughs> okay, we're just about done leveling it out now. He's working on the last two feet, and he's putting on this oak board. And then we'll be done with leveling, and all we have to do is put the head on. And then attach a rope, you said? A rope. Kind of like a ferry, like a tow line? Yeah. Okay. All right, Wilson, what's next? We need to take all of our stuff off and get, get the head on. I think we should just set down the head and get at it from the other side. Okay, okay I was just inside downloading files onto my computer. 
so I can have more space on my phone to record the rest of the video. While I was gone, Dad pushed the 56 back and got the head on the right way on the forks. So they're going to set it on then shove it back. You didn't put any gas in it? No, there's, there's gas. gas in it. Oh, gas isn't turned on. What? Or is it? Mm -hmm. Which is on and which is off, Wilson? I can't tell. You're on. Okay. You're on, you know. You just gotta suck gas up then. The gas in the fuel lines. Is there like a primer? Up? Seventy degrees out here. The gas. I don't know, they're just darn. This is the battery box. You just don't push it off the edge. Pretty sure. And this is the height adjustment. Yeah, just don't push it off the edge. Sounds a little too user trusting. <sighs> Engage this thing to just move it along. Uh, oh, it just got really warm out here. The sun came back out. What'd you forget?
looks good to me. And then these things come up to hold the log from going over the edge, right? Then that and these brackets hold the log in place. And then the sawmill moves over it. So I'm pretty sure the wood miser sawmill is done as far as putting it together. So when they get a log, just put that thing and put these things up. And then you screw that to the log to keep the log in place. And then you put that there for now what happens is you would turn on the you turn on the motor then you would set your you would set your blade height however high or how, however low you want it and then what? Okay, so apparently it's locked, whatever. So what you would do is you would take this and that little thing right there, you would pull this lever and lock it in there and then you would move it like this to move this pulley and it pushes that forward across the log. But I guess it's locked right now so it won't be able to move. That's all right. I think Dad Wilson during milking are going to go up to the woods and get a log maybe to test on it or whatever. But I'm not going to put that in this video. This video is already long enough. So I'll put that in a new one. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.